And Bishop Vince is going to come forth and bring forth our speaker. Amen. We want to remind you of Children's Church is going on for ages 1 to 8. If you would like for your child to go to the side room. Amen. At this time, please stand while we bring forth Bishop. Amen. To introduce our speaker on this morning. Amen. Yes, Lord. God is good. He's worthy to be praised. Amen, 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 hallelujah. For the Spirit of the Lord is, is in this house. But he's also in our spirit. He's in us. Hallelujah. God is good. He shall be worthy to be praised. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Ain't nothing wrong with our shout man turkey out of your system. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. God is good. And he's worthy to be praised. On today, praise God, we are blessed as we have for the last couple of weeks. Praise God, been blessed, praise God, with different one from this house to be able to bring forth the word of God. Blessed be the name of the Lord, praise God. And today, praise God, we have minister, praise God, Mason, praise God, she will come forth and bring us the word of God, word of God. Praise God, man, should not live by bread alone, but every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. So if you will point your hand in this direction and say, Lord. Send us the word. You sent your word to heal us and to deliver us from destruction. Bless the word giver. Strengthen the word giver. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Margaret Mason, go for us all receive a Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah, Father. Those songs, amen, glory be to God, that Sister Shirley Lee's will never grow old. Amen, glory be to God. I was sitting there and I was feeling a little unsteady. I was feeling a little faint for a little while. Well. You know? Uh -huh. And I said a word to heaven real quick. And then Shirley came in and sang that first song, Amen, glory be to God. And God revived me just like that. You know?
day, amen, and all the food that we have, amen, glory be to God. But I thank God, hallelujah, that he allowed me to be born on this side of the earth, amen, amen. glory be to God. Because there's so many that didn't have Thanksgiving. There's so many, glory be to God, that didn't have food, amen, glory be to God. God, I thank you. I thank you for the privilege. I thank you for the privilege.
go to Luke chapter 17, starting at verse 11. which stood afar off. And they lifted up their voices and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. And when he saw them, he said unto them, Go show yourselves unto the priests. And it came to pass that as they went, they were cleansed. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back and with a loud voice glorified God and fell down on his face at his feet giving him thanks, and he was a Samaritan. And Jesus answering said, Were there not ten, left, ten cleansed? But where are the nine that are not found that return to give glory to God, save this stranger? And he said unto him, Arise, go thy way, thy faith has made thee whole. Thy faith has made thee whole. And this is where we're going to take our thought from the day. Amen. Glory be to God. In verse 19, and <clears throat> which is our title, Be Thou Made Whole. Amen. Be Thou Made Whole. Amen. Glory be to God. And sometime at noonday service, we have a subtitle for our messages. And our subtitle today is The One. Amen. Glory be to God. Be Thou Made Whole. The one. Amen. Glory be to God. Our focus today is going to be on the one. Glory be to God. We know that they all came back. Amen. Glory be to God. To give thanks. But there was one that came back with a sincerity. There was one. Amen. Glory be to God. That was privileged. So to say. And we are privileged. Amen. Glory be to God. There was one. There was one that came back. Be thou made whole. Amen. Glory be to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. We know Jesus was crossing over by Galilee <laughs> on his way to Jerusalem. And there were these ten leopards. There were these ten lepers. Could you turn this mic down just a little bit, please? I can hear myself <laughs> in the mic. I'm sorry, y'all. Glory to God. <laughs> there was ten. And we know that the lepers had to keep their distance. They had to keep their distance. They had to be secluded away from the people. Because they had this disease that was a skin disease, but it went deeper than just skin. It went deep. It went deep. Amen. Glory be to God. That is what I was studying. I remember one women's conference where we said, we said, stop the surface scratching and let us dig deep. Amen. Glory be to God. Glory to God. The sickness went deep in them. Amen. Glory be to God. And they had to stay away. It got so bad when their limbs and things start falling off. It was unto death. It was unto death. But the one. Be thou made whole. The one. There was one. Amen. Glory be to God. They were people who were sick unto death. Not only did they have a physical disease, they had a spiritual disease as well. They didn't know Jesus. There was ten. I'm reminded of the ten virgins. Five were prepared. Five was unprepared. Now we're looking at the lepers. Nine were unprepared, but one was prepared. Glory be to God. Be thou made whole. The one. Glory to God. They were lost and they were undone. Amen. Glory be to God. 
they were not prepared to meet Jesus. They wanted something from him, but they weren't prepared to meet him. Glory to God. Ten lepers, nine unprepared and one prepared. All right. That one that prepared, that was prepared, amen, glory be to God. His heart was right. When Jesus knocked at his door, he let him in. Glory to God. Y'all know I, I'm not a, a long-winded preacher, so I'm not going to be before you very long. But I want you to concentrate on the one. Yeah, they came back to give thanks. All of them came back to give thanks. But concentrate on that one. He had his heart fixed. He got that outward healing. Amen. Glory be to God. All of them got the outward healing. But scripture says. And as he entered into a certain village. There met him ten men that were lepers. Which stood afar off. And they lifted up their voices and said. Jesus. Master. Have mercy on me. And when he saw. He said unto them, Go, show yourselves unto the priests. But this was the law. They had to go show themselves to the priests. And the priests declared them clean. But guess what? Jesus declared them saved. He declared the one saved. He declared them saved. Glory be to God. Glory to God. And verse 14 said, And when he saw them, he said unto Go show yourselves unto the priests. And it came to pass that as they went, they were cleansed. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back and with a loud voice glorified God. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. With a loud voice he glorified God. Hallelujah. He praised God. Glory be to God. Yeah. He said, God, hallelujah, I believe. I believe that you are the Son of God. The scripture says, Amen. Glory 
be to God. Even the priest. Amen. Glory be to God. Oh, hallelujah. Says something different. Something changed. On his way back. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, yes, sir. Jesus. Yeah, hallelujah. Jesus deemed salvation. Glory to God. But the priest declared healing. But Jesus declared salvation. Just that one. Just that one. Just that one. He received Christ that day. Oh, hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Can you imagine? Hallelujah. His footsteps, amen, got quicker. Amen. Glory be to God. His skin just cleared up automatically. Amen. Glory be to God. His fingers was probably beginning to fall off. And they went back in place. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. That one. He came back to give Christ thanks for salvation. Yes, Glory be to God. Oh yeah, it was because of his faith. Because of his belief in the Son of God. By coming back to Jesus, he received something far greater than healing. He came back to give thanks, yeah. But he realized more had happened to him. Amen. Glory be to God. Oh, hallelujah. But the now, they were still blinded. They still couldn't see Jesus. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I'm reminded. Amen. Glory be to God. A blind Bartimaeus. Amen. Glory be to God. Sitting by the side. Amen. Glory be to God. Blind and can't see. But when Jesus came through, when Jesus came by, amen. Glory be to God. His eyes were open. Amen. Glory to God. Same thing. Amen. With the leper. Jesus came by. And his eyes got open. His heart was changed. Hallelujah. His mind was regulated. Amen. Glory be to God. And God, I thank you for it. Amen. Because that's what he did for us, saints. That's what he did for us. Amen. Glory be to God. And that's what he'll do. Amen. Glory be to God. For somebody out there that don't know Christ. Amen. He'll come in with a quickening. Amen. He'll raise you up. Amen. Glory be to God. A mind changer. Amen. A heart attitude. Amen. 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 Knew Psalm 51, but 
Oh, hallelujah. Glory be to God. If he did, I bet he went right there. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to God. Let's look at Psalm 51. Yes, say, hey. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Yes, mercy us for me, oh, God. Hallelujah, Father. Hallelujah. Hey, yeah, go ahead. Ha, ha. Have mercy upon me, O Lord, yeah, yeah. according to thy loving kindness. Yes, yes. According unto yes. the multitude of thy tender mercy. Yes, yes. Blot up my transgression. Yes, yes. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity. Yes. And cleanse me from my sin. For yes. I acknowledge my transgression. Yes. And my sin is ever before me. Yes. Against thee. We only have our sin and done this evil in thy sight, yes. that thou mightest be justified when thou speakest, yes. and be clear when thou judgest. Mm. Behold, I was shaped in iniquity, uh -huh. and in sin did my mother conceive me. Uh -huh. Behold, thou desirest truth in the inward parts, and in the hidden parts thou shalt make me to know wisdom. Yes. Purge me with wisdom. And I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. And what did he say? Wash me, purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Purge me, purge me. He was down at Jesus' feet. He was crying out, Jesus, purge me, Jesus. Oh Lord God, in the name of Jesus, I believe, I believe, I believe. Purge me, purge me, purge me. Wash me, wash me, wash. Me. Over and over and over and over again, Lord Jesus, uh, until the day, Lord God, that you return, Lord God. Uh, oh, hallelujah, God. Uh, purge me, purge me, purge me. Uh, over and over and over and over. upon me, O oh God, according to thy loving kindness, according unto that multitude of thy tender mercy. Oh God, blood up my transgressions. Glory be to God. Oh Jesus. And he did it for him. He did it for the leopard. He's no respected person. Amen. Glory be to God. He's showing you with this leopard. He's showing us no matter how bleak uh, no matter how dim, yeah. no matter how bad that situation looks, yeah, yeah. he's telling you that he cares for you. Yeah. He cares for you and he'll pull you up out of it. Yeah. All you gotta do is bow down. Yeah. You gotta yeah. bow down, humble yeah. yourself, and call on the Lord. Amen. Glory be to God. Yeah. And he'll snatch you out of whatever yeah. you're in. He'll pick you up yeah. and he'll turn you around yeah. and he'll make you fit for his use. Yeah. Amen. Glory be to God. The priest declared him clean, but Jesus declared that one, amen, glory be to God, saved. The nine, they saw a healer, but the one saw a savior. Glory to God. His eyes were open, and like I said, he became a new creature. Just thank God he received eternal life. So is there one? Is there one like a leopard? Didn't know what his destiny was. Didn't know if he was going to die today or tomorrow. That was the leopard situation. And that's our same situation today. We don't know if we're going to see tomorrow like the songwriter says. We don't know, hallelujah, glory be to God, if he's going to come back today or tomorrow. Yeah. And we want to be right. Yeah. And we want to go back with him. Yeah. And we don't want to guess at it. Are we ready? Will I go? Yeah. Glory be to God. I should have went to the altar on Sunday and sincerely and truly gave my heart to God. Yeah. We don't know. If we're going to see the next day. So I ask is there one. That will look to Jesus. 
and that will surrender their life to Christ this time and hold on, amen, glory be to God. Because the enemy is all here to kill, steal, and destroy. And he doesn't care if it's a grown-up. He doesn't care if it's a child. He don't care if it's somebody who's on drugs. He don't care if it's me standing behind the pulpit. He's going to bring temptation your way. And unless you grip on to Jesus, Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. You're not going to make it in. You're not going to make it in. Glory to God. I'm sure that leopard did a lot of repenting. And the saints got to do a lot of repenting. Because the enemy is out to get us too. You may not be out doing the works of the flesh, but you're doing all the things that's not pleasing to God. Glory be to God. And we got to realize and we got to know that Christ is soon to come. We are a privileged people. He has given us so many privileges and so many rights. He allowed us to come and go as we please. He let us do whatever we want to do. Amen. Glory be to God. But we need to know him. We need to sincerely know him. We need him in our heart. Yes. Amen. More and more and more and more. Yes. Yes. Glory to God. Yes. Amen. Glory to God. That's what God has given me. And he gave me. He said he is the whole package. He is the whole package. So won't you surrender to him? He is the healer and he is the savior. He can do it all. Amen. If you're in the house and haven't accepted Christ as your personal savior altogether.